Hi guys, this is Matthias, and in this video I'd like to demonstrate some of the success I've had taking out tanks and armored vehicles. Yeah, now, there are a few basic and uh, standard tactics in order to do so, and uh, one of them is what you see here. We're going around the building in order to flank this heavy tank. This uh, tank, uh, assault tank on uh, B. All right. Now dealing with tanks can be very frustrating. There are several bugs related to tanks and anti-tank weapons, and in this video you will see a little bit of that as well. We what? Why did that not explode on impact? It didn't shoot! <laughs> Weapon dis- How many times did I disable that fucking tank? Uh. So now here's a bit of a trick that uh, I know some people are actually quite unaware of. If you get up on the back of a horse, regardless of your oh, class, you will have two light anti-tank grenades okay, at your disposal. That is, for as long as you stay on the horse back. Now, once you're off the horse, you have your regular gadgets and your grenade. If you spawn on a horse back as a cavalry, you will have another, a third light anti-tank grenade, unlike the gadgets I'm using here. There we go. No, don't take my, <laughs> my horse! How dare you! Now as much as tactics and strategies plays a big part in taking out tanks, sometimes it's just a one versus one that comes down to skill and experience. Understanding how to dodge, when to dodge, and being able to judge whether or not it's worth it to stay in line of sight of a tank long enough to actually kill it, well that can be a bit tricky, but uh, hopefully this and some of my other similar videos will help some of you guys out of that. This guy just did a 180 degree with his horse, like instant. Okay, oh shit. Are you waiting for the train, Matti? Yeah, dealing with tanks can many times be very frustrating, but it's even worse if there's nobody in your team doing it at all. Many times there's a lot of self-sacrifice involved, and despite the fact that most of these examples doesn't show it, the biggest problems when it comes to dealing with tanks normally isn't the tank itself. It is uh, all the infantry players, around it, some of them who of course spawns into the tank only to jump out right away. <laughs> Get fucking wrecked! Oh yeah, in case I didn't mention that, sometimes it's also very, very satisfying to take out any kind of armored vehicle. No! Get fucking wrecked! Oh shit! Whoa, I'm on. leaving! <laughs> I can't... I can't use... Now, I still to this day get a lot of people asking me how can I use the AT rocket gun while standing up or crouching. I've even got a question if this only works on PC, and no, it works Hello? on all platforms, but as you can see here, it doesn't work everywhere. What I tried to do was to deploy the bipods on this little edge that was in front of me, and that works on a lot of places like uh, looking at a window or standing next to a wall or some such. But you need to know those places or recognize those places when you see them so you don't end up in the same situation as you saw me doing there. Because that will most likely get you killed. So now here comes a, a very very irritating part of Battlefield 1. And I wanted to take a short part of this video to cover it. Yeah.
He's just backing up. Yeah, he's backing up out in the uh, no cap. Yeah. That is so fucking retarded how you can do that. Yeah, it should be uh should be impossible. Uh, also remember that many times your level of success with this can be determined by your choice of a grenade. Me, I always choose the light anti-tank grenade if I play on a map that has vehicles. A Battlefield 1 is a game that to a big degree is based on teamwork. Several of the people that I'm playing with are people that I've played with for years and who you play with yeah. will have a major impact in your own success as well. And despite the fact that this game many times is called casual field, this is still far from Call of Duty. I've hit it a lot. There's my more. Nice. There's more, there's one more up. There's one more live. That's more ammo, more ammo, more ammo. There you go. Nice. Huh. Yeah, I guess it goes without saying that who you play with and how you work together will have a massive impact in your success doing these things. Now you can find a lot more of videos that have similar gameplay if you check the description below the video here. And until the next time, my name is Matthias and I want to thank you all for watching. Nice! So well. We can go for apples. Oh, he's coming back. Yeah, I hit him. Oh, I killed him. Spawning... Uh, spawning B, yeah. Both. And now he's just going to charging. Like oh, him. mine kills. Careful, today's the... Need some magic, guys. Oh, I don't have the time. I don't want to drive all the way from there. Oh, shit. There's so many here. All right. You're in C? No, I went to F. Do you want to make a new squad? Yeah. We have lost objective Charlie. Going for the tank. We are losing objectives. And I didn't get the kill. All that's chasing and I didn't get the kill. Oh, there's a lot of them here. Oh, there was a lot of them here. There's not <laughs> so many anymore. <laughs> they were all in the same fucking co it's, it's amazing how they always oh. make that mistake. Oh, artillery. Oh, fuck. Oh, uh, uh, infantry, infantry. Coming from B. Yeah. Going towards you. She's still there. I got the tank. Nice. Yeah. Oh, almost yes, up anyway. Party, let's go. Oh shit. Let's kill the tank. Oh, thank you. I'm on the left side or towards chat. Yeah, yeah, I see you now. Oh, behind you. Don't worry, don't worry. Move. I killed the little tank. Oh, 
Oh shit, there's a shitload of them in that in that room directly behind when Holy you go up the stairs. Yeah. Oh, guys, you got. Oh no, the nade. Oh no, the nades. Oh, oh right for grenade, yeah. Oh, and for the rifle, yeah. <laughs> there was two grenades before that. Did you step in the tripwire or something, Mati? No. I never, I never step uh -huh. in tripwires. Ah. Okay. You know me. I never. I'm sorry. I'm yeah. Sorry. yeah.